Hi everyone, this is Dr. Carola Coba. I am the CEO of Louisiana Center for Eyes. And thank you for joining us today. And so today we are um, going to discuss a very common question uh, or topic that I get a lot um, from patients, okay? So typically most of us are on our digital devices uh, sometimes eight hours a day, nine hours a day, 10 hours a day, going from one computer to cell phone to tablets to Kindle, um, the whole nine yards. And so um, it's a very common thing that we do and that's the way of our life uh, these days. So then the question I get as an eye specialist is, well, is all that blue light that I hear about, is that causing damage or eye disease or problems for my eyes? Um, and so we're going to address that, uh, today. So let's talk about, uh, blue light. Okay. So, um, so the sun emits blue light. Okay. Particularly it's highest in the mornings and it stimulates us to wake up, to let your body know that it's time to wake up. Obviously overexposure of blue light or ultraviolet light. Okay. is another form of light can, lead to eye disease or eye damage, okay? That's the overexposure from sun. However, there hasn't been any scientific uh, backing or evidence that the small amount of blue light that's emitted or that comes from our um, devices, the computer, uh, cell phones, uh, tablets, there hasn't been any evidence to show that that itself can lead to eye damage or eye disease, okay? Having said that, what it can, what it has been shown to do is to actually affect your sleep, your ability to fall asleep. And of course, you know sleep is very important. And so what the um, blue light does it helps you, it keeps you from falling asleep because blue light uh, reduces melatonin, okay, in the body. And so it keeps you too alert. And so people have problems falling asleep uh, when you are too much, uh, when, you are, when you're on your devices too much. So it messes with your, we call it your circadian rhythm, right? And so if you're in your devices late at night or constantly, then a lot of people can develop problems with sleep. So it tends to affect, it impacts more your sleep cycle and not particularly causing specific damage or disease to the eye, okay? So that's D411 on blue light. Now, what can cause you problem or discomfort being on these devices uh, for long period of time, we call it digital eye strain. Okay, the constant use of our devices will, you know, basically overwhelms the eyes, and the eyes do get tired. So a lot of people will uh, develop um, itchy eyes, burning, um, even those eyelid twitches we talked about in our last video. Um, it can also cause, you know, overstraining, and you get headaches. Um, and so we call that digital eye strain, okay? Now, um, for, and then we're gonna go over uh, some of the, the, some things you could do to kind of help with digital eye strain. Now, um, so, so the blue light is not what's causing the, the eye strain. It's really more the fact that we're not blinking, okay? We're not, we're not blinking as much when we're, um, on the uh, devices for a long period of time, normally we should be blinking 15 times per minute, okay? Many times when we're on our computer or tablets for a long period of time, our, our blink rate decreases to about half. Well, what happens? Well, the eye is, gets tired, it gets dry, and it's trying to focus more to overcome the dryness and the discomfort. And so it's a cycle and, and after a while it's, it's, just, it's just tired, okay? So we call that digital 
I strain not from the blue light, but more from your use of your tablets and computer. Um, and we'll talk about some tips how to overcome that. Um, one of the ways to uh, to reduce your exposure to the blue light so it does not affect your sleep is to reduce your use of it one to two hours before to go to bed. You sh really should not be on them, okay? But who's guilty? I am, right? We're all guilty, right? So, but now you know better, so you can do better. So, uh, um, another thing that helps is that a lot of these devices now have nighttime settings, okay? And so, don't forget to maybe put some of these nighttime settings on your devices so that uh, it reduces the, the blue light and hopefully lessen the effect it may have on your circadian rhythm and, and your sleep. Okay, so if you're having a lot of sleep problems and you, you you are constantly on your devices, that might be an issue, okay? That that may be part of the cause. So uh, take these precautions, all right? Now, to for the digital um, eye strain, a few tips, okay? I'm going to give you about three to four tips to help you um, overcome that or to help you maintain those eyes while you are using your computer, using your tablets, using your phones. Okay, so the first one, uh, it, it's kind of a universal rule in the eye world. We call it 20-20-20 um, tip, okay? So 20-20-20. So every 20 minutes that you're on a computer, you should be looking away at a far object about 20 feet away, basically you look far off, and you should be blinking for 20 seconds. So 20, 20, 20. And that helps to relax the eye muscles. It helps to refocus the eyes and keeps you from, um, you know, having so much the, the strain, eye strain, okay? The second, the second uh, tip to help you overcome digital eye strain is by placing the computer. It's recommended that your computer should be about 25 inches uh, away from you, okay? So that helps the eye to not have to strain and, and cause headaches and cause, cause uh, problems. The other tip that helps with digital eye strain is to, to wear your computer glasses or wear your glasses that's been prescribed for, uh, for that type of use. Some people have astigmatism. Some people just need the glasses just for when they're doing these type of work. And so, or wear your, what we call your bifocal, your line bifocal, or no line bifocal, uh, wear your glasses if you have them and if you've been prescribed them for um, computer use or when you're doing close-up work type of use because that just takes the stress off of the eye. It allows you to be able to maintain the eyes and, um, and work for a longer period of time. Um, so wear your glasses. And um, lastly, you want to keep your eyes lubricated. So moisture, moisture, moisture. So if you start to notice that the eyes are um, getting a little dry, okay? Because when we don't blink, the eyes get dry over time. And some people, after a few minutes of being on a computer or reading a book, they'll notice a film or the eye just get blurry. Well, that's, that's a sign of dry eyes, okay? So when we reduce our blink rate, we're not blinking, those eyes are not getting lubricated, and so um, you want to moisturize them with some artificial tears, all right? So those are the four tips I have for you to kind of help uh, to help you overcome digital eye strain, okay? And then just to recap, we talked about how blue light does not, have not been shown scientifically to cause actual eye damage, however, it can impact your ability to fall asleep if you're constantly exposed to blue light. So take those tips that we talked about, uh, turning off the, um, the devices an hour or two before your bedtime. Also, you want to, if you have some settings or nighttime settings uh, on your devices, you want to turn those on in the evening time as well. And uh, that's all the tips I have for you today. I hope you have found this information helpful. 
Uh, if you know anyone who's having issues with their eyes and they're always complaining after being on the computer, um, please send this video to them. And if yourself are having any issues, make an appointment uh, with your eye, uh, eye physician. And if you happen to be in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area and you're looking for an eye doctor, we would be happy to see you and help you with maintaining your eye health. You can uh, find us, find me at www.lacenterforeyes.com. Um, also on Instagram, Louisiana Center for Eyes. Um, or you can stop by our office um, in, in Baton Rouge. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.